reducing the dam return rates and RTOs for e-com brands. Five advanced techniques you probably haven't heard of and you should start using right now. Number one. Charge for your returns. Increase the friction to return by charging a small amount for free stocking, restocking fee. Make the return process frictionless and don't make it hassle free at all. Make the customer work for, your, for the return and ask him to mail the receipt, mail and get the receipt of the returns. Number two, store credit on returns. Don't refund the amount to the bank. Instead, provide store credits to purchase the other products. This way, you are sure that they'll come back for the second product once again. They are not satisfied with this product, but they might come back for the next product. And that's a good way to cash in on that. Number three, discount if they promise to not return. Provide an instant discount on products and make the order ID non-returnable. And this way you can encourage discounts and not worry about being returned or RTO of the product at all. Next, exclude customers. In Clearview, look at customers who have returned the product more than twice, thrice and exclude them from all the discounts. You want to minimize the interaction with customers who are most likely to return. So minimize that by excluding them through all your campaigns, all your Clearview customer emails and everything so that you encourage people who want to buy, not return. Number five, prepaid discount. Provide an instant discount on prepaid orders. Charge extra for shipping for COD orders. This way you encourage people to go for the discount and make a prepaid purchase and if they make a prepaid purchase they are most likely to not return. 